everybody, welcome to my channel. Now, if you guys know me, I absolutely love to bleach shirts. But I live in Wisconsin, and by the time I get to bleaching all my shirts, it's the end of the summer, and I'm just like, crap, I am screwed. But I want to test out something and see how well a shirt will bleach in the sunlight on a cold winter day. It is currently 28 degrees outside. It is sunny outside, so I am actually going to bleach a shirt and see how well it turns out in this cold weather. Now, I was thinking of doing it when it was colder, but I'm afraid that it would just freeze and I'm not sure exactly how well it would do. So right now, we're gonna take it outside and bleach a shirt and see how well I can do in the broad daylight, in the sunlight. Um, I don't have any snow, so I prefer, I'm happy that I can do this in the grass. So. Another thing I also want to do is I want to bleach in like a shaded area like I'm probably going to do my garage because it's uh, better ventilated when I open the door but I'm also going to bleach a shirt inside my garage um, and see how well it does like not outside. Um, again it is cold outside so we're going to test the theory and see how well it does. So I actually have two shirts. I have these. I got these from Jiffy Shirts. Um, these are the Bella Canvas brand which I absolutely love um, but these are 40 or 52 percent cotton and 48 percent polyester. So if you want to do polyester you, you use polyester to sublimate and if you want to do cotton, cotton's the perfect to you do it with bleaching but I have done a hundred percent cotton and it bleached right through holes to it so you want to kind of get a mixture like 50 50 is what I heard so what I have is I have some bleach I have a spray bottle and then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water to it and we're gonna test it out and see how well it does So it is kind of windy outside right now, so I'm doing a little voiceover because all you hear is the wind. But I ended up putting this on an angle um, on a rock in my backyard with the sun directly facing it completely. Uh, the spray bottle that I have, I just got from Walmart. Now, it wasn't working like very well. I kept like trying to sp change the nozzle on it because it wasn't like, it was barely spraying. And then when you like loosen it up and then it's a hard spray. And I kind of want like a chunky spray. Um, but there's different ways you can do stuff like that with the spray bottle. Um, there's also like, you could take a paintbrush and like splatter it onto the shirt, which is kind of cool. I've done that before. Um, but basically I'm just kind of just spraying it. I'm kind of just making a little like square. Um, and then I realized that I should have a piece of paper. So I ended up bringing a piece of paper out and I had to hold it down while bleaching it because of the wind. But here is kind of what it looks like right before I put the paper on. So I'm putting the paper on. You angle it however you want. You don't have to have it perfect because, you know, you just kind of center it. But right now I'm kind of taking the piece of paper, holding it down, and taking and making a little border with the bleach. Um, so you kind of have an idea. Mostly with my sublimation paper or printer, I can only print that size of ink so I want to have a design that's that size so as you see I'm kind of just going around the border and my neighbor's now talking to me but um, I am just spraying it and then as time will go on I will currently fill in the um, the middle more So I'm just retouching up some spots that I missed with the bleach, but it's been sitting out here for a good 15 minutes. But so far it's looking pretty good. I'm enjoying what it looks like. And then we're gonna flip it to the other side. Okay, the lighting's not the greatest in my garage, but I do have the shirt kind of sitting in front of my window. Um, I have the piece of paper sitting there because I like to make a little border so when I do put a design on there. So what I do is with the same thing I did with my other one, I just kind of just made a little border around the piece of paper. So I kind of have an idea when to spray it. So I'm just going to kind of just do that. You just remove the piece of paper and then I got to spray you gonna have a little spray a little bit better. There we go. And we're just gonna spray it a little bit. I can already kind of see it changing already. 
Now you might need a different spray bottle. This one's not the greatest. This one I got at Walmart. But I want one that like mists. And this one doesn't mist very much. So we're just gonna get that. And then I kind of like just to have some drippage all around. So I can see it. Just might have to just soak this a little bit more. Okay, we're gonna let that sit and we'll watch it. Okay, the lighting's still not better. I opened my garage door, but this has been sitting here for about 15 minutes and where the sun was, um, it's actually pretty light, but where the sun was not hitting, it is still a little bit purple. So I just rotated it a little bit and I'm gonna let the sun hit the one spot um, and we will see what it looks like. I did turn it around and I sprayed the back of it. So the front, I kind of like how it turns out. Excuse all my junk right here. But I kind of like how it turned out um, for being on the inside and just having a little sun. It's turning like white and pinkish purple, which I kind of like. Right now, I'm just going to kind of let this sit in the sun. Um, I'm just kind of rotate it a little bit because I have the shade, but I kind of like it. So there's two different ways to figure this out, how to do this in the cold. Okay, so I washed the shirts and let me share with you guys what they looked like. So here is the purple one. Um, as I can say, you could possibly bleach it without the sun, but since I had that little window, um, I kind of like it because it has some pink in it. Now, if it was completely in the sun, it would have totally like turned a little bit more of a whiter color, but I kind of like how it is a pink and a white, but this turned out absolutely nice. I ended up doing that piece of paper thing on here, so I kind of have an idea of what I'm gonna do my design on when I do my sublimation, or I could just do regular vinyl too, but I kind of like it. But this is basically what it turned out to be in 28 degrees inside my garage, which is probably a little bit colder, but pretty easy. After you do bleach them, you gotta make sure you pour a hydrogen peroxide on it. So what I did is I just gathered them up put them in my sink, poured some hydrogen peroxide on it, kind of just let it all get soaking wet in there, and then I quickly wash them and dry them. Um, I usually do not wash them with other clothing because I'm afraid the bleach could come out, so make sure your washing machine is completely emptied uh, when you do wash your clothes. I just put it on a quick cycle, like a quick wash. It was like 30 minutes, um, and just used a very little... Um, dishwashing or uh, laundry detergent and then I didn't use any fabric softener but pretty easy thing for that and then this turned out perfectly for in the summer um, perfectly for in the sun I meant um, it turned out completely white there is some yellowing but it was because I kept trying to spray that spot but this turned out absolutely perfect in the sun in 28 degree weather. I wanted to try it when it was a little bit colder, but I was afraid that if I did it when it was colder, it could freeze. Um, I did have my bleach bottle in the uh, garage all winter long, so it was frozen. So I brought it in about an hour prior to um, bleaching, and then I added a little bit more to it that I've had in the house. So... I was just afraid if it was going to be too cold, it might freeze, but this worked out perfectly. Um, if I always put it on a cardboard because I don't want it to bleed through. I just have one of those like regular cardboard things that fit about the size of the shirt. Um, when the shirt is still like wet, when you put too much bleach on here, um, you want to make sure you have like something like if you saw I had a hard piece of plastic, I had that on there so the air could get through the shirt so it could dry faster. Otherwise, just sitting there kind of just sits there, but... This turned out to be perfect in 28 degree on a sunny day in 28 degree weather. I was freezing, but uh, I'm still freezing from it. But that was pretty good. I've always wanted to see how well it worked. So if you guys are a crafter and you get the Wisconsin weather like I do, and you really want to do something where you're like, crap, the weather's crappy. If you can get a day like this and you got all the shirts and you got the cardboard and you want to get ahead on time, definitely think about it. You know, again, you can do it in your garage. Just make sure if you have some uh, light 
or what you could do is spray it and then go put it in the sun outside if you guys wanted to do that however you want to do it but I'm pretty excited that I got to try this and I finally know that it works so if I ever have somebody who's like hey can you make me something yes I can and I can make it in the winter time I could even do it during a snowstorm if I wanted to but I suggest having it on a really sunny day. But you could do it when there is snow. Um, I would just do it kind of in a spot where you can hang the shirt. But definitely put cardboard in the middle between it so it doesn't go through. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know by giving this video a great big thumbs up. I will be putting videos on how to sublimate and a lot more crafting videos coming up over the next couple months. Or if you guys are watching this by the time I have that, definitely check out for my other crafting videos. But thanks for watching. I do also have a different bleaching video that I did different designs on that are really cool that I did a while ago. So definitely check that out if you haven't. But I will see you guys later and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.